I'm Aldrema Harper, business organizing strategist and coach. I specialize in empowering solopreneurs, freelancers, and service-based providers to ignite, build, and transform their business dreams into reality. With my signature framework, I guide my clients to build their dream businesses. In fact, my most recent client launched a six-figure business in less than a year. That's because I bring clarity, focus, and a proven roadmap to help you unlock your true potential. Welcome to the Organizedpreneur Podcast. This is the ultimate podcast for female entrepreneurs looking to supercharge their business. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by the chaos in your life and in your business, if you're struggling to manage your clients, struggling with tasks, overwhelmed, worried about things falling through the cracks, you're in the right place. With my signature framework, you're able to turn your passion and hard work into a sustainable and profitable venture. That's because I have a four-step framework. Number one, organize. This is the foundational step where we lay the groundwork and infrastructure for your success. Number two, optimize. This is all about effectiveness and making the best or most effective use of a situation, an asset, or a resource. Then systemize. Having systems ensures consistent, scalable operations. Then last but not least, it's time to monetize. That's where we turn your passion and hard work into a sustainable and profitable venture. So if you're looking to explore how I can help ignite, help you transform your business dreams into reality, let's chat. And you can do that three ways. You can book a time on my calendar. You can register for the three-day or five-day Transform Your Business Challenge or subscribe to the Organized Preneur Podcast. All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, Aldrima here from the Organized Preneur Podcast Studio. And again, we're talking about how to streamline your podcast operations in a few steps. So today we're going to talk about distribution distribution and podcast hosting because you got to have a place for your podcast to live, right? And so because this is where people are going to find you, okay? So now that you've created your amazing podcast masterpiece, right? Where is it going to go? That's where podcast hosting platforms come in. So think of them as the home address, like a residence for your podcast, right? This is where, this is the address where people will find your podcast. So you want to look at platforms like Libsyn, Podbean, Buzz, Buzzsprout um, for your address, okay? And you want to choose wisely, because all of the platforms, um, they're not equal, okay? But you want to determine what it is you want out of your hosting platform. It's just like if you were to shop for a house, right? There are things that you want. There are things that you like about one platform over the other. So there's going to be things that you like about this house over the other house, right? So it's the same thing when you choose a platform. So for me, I have, there are actually two platforms that I love. Now, when you're first starting out, you may consider Anchor because it's absolutely free and it's pretty robust. So Anchor is a good place to start, okay? It's very simple. It's easy to navigate, and again, it is free. So you can start with Anchor. Anchor. Okay, I didn't pronounce that right. So you you can start there. And um, but two of my favorite platforms. Again, one is Anchor. It's a good place to start. And I also use 
um, Bcast, okay, Bcast, B-C-A-S-T, uh, and I'll put all of that in the show notes. But these are the two platforms that I use. The reason that I chose Bcast was because I got it from AppSumo and I got it for a one-time price, okay? Uh, it had a lifetime deal. I'm actually in the process of moving from Anchor to Podbean, and it's a very simple process. We're not going to get into all of that today. However, you have a lot of options, and I think that is the main thing that I want to um, say to you is that you can start with Anchor, but then also begin looking at other options uh, as your podcast expands, okay? All right, so now you have a home for your podcast, okay? Uh, The next thing you want to make sure that you do, there is the option for most of the platforms to have your podcast be distributed to the other directories like Apple and Spotify and Google. You want to make sure that you utilize that. And that was the one thing that I found really easy to navigate when I used Anchor because, of course, Anchor has been purchased by Spotify. So it's very easy to get your podcast on Spotify, which, you know, you have millions of listeners there. Also, Amazon Music, I recently uh, got my podcast on there, and it's, it's really, really simple uh, to do. Okay. So without getting all geeked out with all the techie stuff, because there's a, there's a lot to consider, but you can definitely start with a platform that's easy to navigate and the distribution process is going to be relatively easy because a lot of times it's just a matter of putting your RSS feed in that um, platform and then submitting it to the directory. But again, I don't want to get too technical on this podcast um, because I just want you to get started. Okay, so I don't want you to get lost in the weeds. Okay, so you, you got your home, you got you, your platform where you've submitted your podcast to the different directories. And so the last thing I wanted to say a little bit about, it's um, you want to sprinkle it a little bit with some keywords, uh, some SEO keywords. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Okay. Don't get lost in the weeds on that, on SEO optimization or search engine optimization, but You may want to delegate that or outsource that to someone else who is proficient um, in that area. Okay, so but it is a key strategy for getting your podcast in front of uh, new listeners. Okay, all right. So you can let all of your fans waiting and wanting to hear from you about your show, okay? So just share them on social media, uh, share the links with your family, get your audience engaged, and watch your podcast community flourish, okay? So as you navigate this podcast journey. Don't forget to forge alliances with fellow podcasters, collaborate, do cross promotions, all that, all those type of things. Everyone wins. All right. So there you go. You have your marching orders and, uh, let's go.